physical therapist, and I'm Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion. opinion. <laughs> All right, today we're going to talk about the Chopat uh, knee brace and Chopat. Chopat. How do you spell that? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to write it so that we know Chopat. how to spell, yeah. how spell it. And it's a knee brace that's used really for a specific problem, uh, mostly patellar tendonitis. And uh, in those cases, it can work quite well. I don't know that I'd use it for anything else. Um, but by the way, do we have the brace? Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh yeah, yeah we're back prepared, Bob. Okay, well, let's right. go around to the back. Yeah, let's, let's, let's walk to the it. back, and we'll show the rest. Let's take them to our studio and yeah. education room. Okay, here we go. Can you zoom in, Nancy? All right, so here we go. We're looking at, can I get that knee, that model of knee first? Here we got, we're looking at the right knee. Go ahead, give it a toss, good, okay. We take the clothes off, we take the skin off, and here we've got the quadricep muscles right here, the patella or the kneecap. There we go, show them and then. The tendon. The quadricep yep. attaches into the patella or the kneecap. And down here we actually have it, the kneecap or the tendon detached so you can look into the ACL, etc. But wrist tendon right here, this little section right here. Why don't you turn it right to us so that you can. Okay, this would be the front of the knee. So here again, quadricep coming down into the kneecap, and then the kneecap attaches to the patella right. tendon. So we're looking right here, we got the femur, patella, and the tendon right there. Now what happens is this tendon can become stressed, and there could be a number of different reasons for it, from tight quadricep muscles, it could be from overuse syndrome, maybe you haven't been running, and all of a sudden you start running too much too soon, and stress is out, it might be the type of shoes you wear, some of the impact. Uh, there's a number of different well, reasons. Well, another thing could be is if you grow too fast. If oh, let's right. say this bone is growing too long, too fast, right. and this quadricep is not keeping up, that's going to pull on that kneecap harder, right. and it's going to pull on that tendon harder, and uh, often we end up what is called Osgood Schlatter's disease. <laughs> that's Osgood a mouthful. Yes. So, by the way, I, I promised I was going to spell Chopat, wasn't I? Yeah. Can you throw in a Chopat strap here? This, uh, Get down to brass tacks there. Yeah. Good toss. Okay, so what we're looking at is this tendon right here, which is right there below the kneecap. You can feel it, and we're looking right there. So this That's tendon, the red part. Yep, this red part right here gets inflamed. In other words, it gets tender. Sure. Uh, if you go up and down steps, a lot of times it'll be painful when you do your activities, and it typically hurts the most. In the case of Osgood Schlatter's disease, <laughs> It actually, this tendon actually starts pulling on the bone right here, the tubercle here they call it, or bone, and, and a little bump right here where it attaches. And actually, if it starts pulling too long and too hard, you actually get little fractures there, little evulsion fractures. Sure. And in that case, uh, unfortunately, with good slaughters, quite often you, you need to have rest, you need to let the body catch up, and, and it, you, you could be on rest for a year. Uh, with that, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate that it's a, right. one of those issues. But if you just got tendonitis, it's a yeah. different story. You're going to ice it, you're going to use some anti-inflammatories, and you're going to use this little strap. It's a lovely device. I've known some people that just love them. They're about 10 or $12. They're relatively cheap, Velcro. And um, let's see. Well, why don't we, um, do you want to put it around that, or do you want to put it around my well, knee? Well, let, let's do it here first. Here's the kneecap. You put it around so this. Yeah, let me hold it. So yeah, go ahead and hold that, Bob. So again, that this knee's facing you now. Yeah. So Watership. there's like a bead in here, okay? Like a little piece of rope. It's a little padded, but it's firm density. You go around underneath the kneecap. There's the kneecap right here. Yeah. And you just velcro it to the back of your knee and put some pressure on there, and it disperses that pressure. And you know if it's the right thing to do, because when you put it on and you do your activity, your pain will go from, say, a 7 down to a 3 or less. It, it just feels good. And you wear it very snug. Right. Correct? Right. Yeah. And um, you want to put it on me, Brad? Yeah, let's put it on, Bob. Let's go on my right knee. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, whoa, look at that leg. All right. So here's Bob's kneecap. I can feel it right here. Here's the tendon. It goes from here to here. And it's about that wide, it's a nice strap and tendon. And we're going to go right across here and velcro it on. And you're going to play with the, how tight you need it. You know, you can, you know, tighten it up if it's too tight, loosen it up. If it's, on, you know, it's one of those things you will get a feel for real quickly. And that's all there is to it. 
They're real nice devices. Yeah, people who tend to be at risk for this also are the ones that obviously do a lot of jumping. I think they actually call it jumper's knee even. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, you're going to know if you have it. it it's going to hurt right underneath your kneecap and, yeah. and you're going to hurt right on that tendon. So that's a sure. good way to diagnose yeah. it. So. All right. Good luck with it. Thank you.